Warning, we will say the things you may not like. Nothing is serious to us, nothing is off of limits. So tune in or tune out. It's naughty time. Do you remember, do you remember that fucking video in Headbangers Ball? Balls to the walls, man. It was a sept. Yeah. The dude riding the fucking wrecking ball into the fucking, into the brick walls. He's like, balls to the walls. Udo. Udo. Yeah, it was Udo from a sept. I thought the shit was kind of goofy, but now I think it's kind of cool. I got nothing. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you never... You, did you live in a shoebox? Oh, wait, no, you did, did live in a fucking... I did, You did live in a fucking shoebox. Were well, you not into hair metal? No, no dude. He no. wasn't allowed to listen to well, music. Well, that makes sense when we brought up Whitesnake, and he's like, as long as they don't play Whitesnake. No, I, I, know, I don't know. He told me a few weeks ago that he, he wasn't allowed to listen to music. It is the devil's music. No, I mean, music, period. Oh, nothing Growing at all? up, right? Yeah. I mean, it wasn't like a like a rule that you can't listen to. I mean, I just wasn't exposed to it. My parents didn't listen to music. This is one time I was in my dad's car and I was changing the radio station and he listened to like 50s classic stuff. Anything beyond like 1955, he thought was like the devil. He's like, ah, I can't hear it. I'm like, it's, you know, the Carpenters. And he's like, ah, it's rock and roll. Ah. <laughs> Carpenters are rock and roll. Or whatever, roll. you know. That's and a first. So he wasn't into music. My mom was into like opera and uh, classical music. So no exposure until like high school. And your brother only listened to Frank Sinatra? Yeah. So you didn't start playing music until high school? No, I've been playing music since five. So but what? it was all classical until. Oh, because that's what until, they were into? No, it's just because that's what they were teaching. Oh, okay. So that's really odd that they. <laughs> They gave you lessons at five, but yet you couldn't listen to music. Yes. Well, it was only he was he could listen to classical music. You know, that's all they try to expose him to, basically. But it's funny because we talk about all these bands that we've listened to our entire lives, mm-hmm. all these obscure metal bands and all this crazy shit, and he's got no fucking clue yeah, what we're talking about. That's crazy. No, I, I didn't no learn. Idea. I wasn't exposed to like hair metal until I had to learn it for cover bands. And then it was like, oh, I'm going to go buy these albums. And they're like, oh, okay. You know. I think that's why it's so surprising. I mean, you got During Paul, the, Paul Stanley and Ace Frehley right next to me. So Right. I mean, I it wasn't until I was like, I moved to Chicago until I started getting exposed. And I was like, during the Napster era, I would just download everything. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. like discographies. Don't tell Lars Ulrich. <laughs> I never downloaded any Metallica. <laughs> oh, well, in that case, it's fine. <laughs> they don't want to get taken to court. No, but once, once, but I mean, you were, you were, when you moved to Chicago, how old were you? I don't know. How old were you when I moved to Chicago? Because we're about the same age. <laughs> what, were we in our 20s? It was, yeah, like late 20s. So you weren't really exposed to hair metal until you were in your 20s. No. That's no, in crazy. fact, remember, in, remember Janie Lane had a club in Orlando? Yeah, yeah Janie Lane, Sunset, Sunset Strip. Strip. Right. I was always fascinated by that place because I didn't know who Janie Lane was until years <laughs> later when I watched the documentary, like the VH1 behind the music about Warrant. And you know how he was like a drunk and everything. I was like, oh, that's the guy that has that club. Oh, no shit. And then he drank himself to death. One of my first bands played the Sunset Strip and the um, the stage had a, a foot switch for that triggered the fan. So it, uh, <laughs> so your hair would <laughs> go blazing. <laughs> Holy shit, for real? Yep. That's awesome. <laughs> can we get that for us? You can try. See my beard whipping in the wind? I'm like, fan time. <laughs> <laughs> so That'd I be have, fucking genius. So needless to say, I have no appreciation for hair metal. New or no? I have no appreciation for hair metal. Oh, you don't like hair metal? Well, I mean, like, I went, like, for instance, uh, I had to learn a couple of Motley Crue songs, right? And, uh, you know, download the music, whatever, listen to it. And I, I was like, man, on the surface, this is pretty horrible, you know, musically. <laughs> but then when you look at the whole package, you look at the video and everything, it's like, oh, okay, I get it. I get why people are into this. It was new and they look like freaks or whatever. Um, people thought that was heavy at the time. Thought they were pretty fucking hot. <laughs> <laughs> I have a story about that, but go ahead. But so I, I really have no appreciation for it. So like, did you ever masturbate to a hairband? <laughs> <laughs> I got close. I got real close to to completion. <laughs> <laughs> all right, welcome to episode two. <laughs> no, all right, no, all right, all right, we got ahead of ourselves. Welcome to Naughty Time. I am your host. I still don't have a fucking name, by the way. You assholes, prepared? You come prepared? You know what mine is. I got to do the theme song, though, real quick. You only right? have one? I'm going to do a theme song. Okay. And it's, I'm going to do a different theme song every episode. You got to guess what it is. But do you want a Christmas song or, or like it's just something random? Because I can literally turn almost any song into a Naughty Time song. <laughs> so what do you want? I think it's appropriate if you do a Christmas song. 
can you can you do a Hanukkah one? Uh, is there a Hanukkah song? Yeah, actually, I can do a Hanukkah one the, today. Oh, today's today's day fucking four of of Hanukkah. It's the Adam Sandler song. Oh, should we play it? No, can I do dreidel? You can do whatever you want. It's your show. Naughty, 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 naughty fucking time. It's naughty, naughty, naughty. It's naughty fucking time. Hey! Does that work? Wasn't that fu- was that fucking dreidel? There you go. That sounded like one of those Russian squat dance songs. You did. <laughs> anyway, um, since today is day four of Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah, by the way, fellas. Thank you. You both have Christmas trees at your house, so you're the worst Jews on earth. But in the spirit of giving, I come bearing gifts. So, um, you know, Cold Cuts, you have a beautiful Christmas tree in your house. Um, I hope it's a five BL, star. BLT, you have a beautiful, beautiful sandwich in your kitchen. Um. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna dole these out. I'm gonna start with you, Cold Cuts. This is yours. <laughs> BLT, this is yours. Has this been used? Oh, wow. It's kind of soggy. No, it's uh, it's leather. It's suede, and I brought one for me. Oh my god! Mine is camouflage, <laughs> by the way. So the listeners know he he got us all yarmulkes, all <laughs> custom. Uh, I don't need the hairpin, by the way. Mine is pink. I have no hair. Dependent to BLTs what, is pink. What is yours? It has a hairpin on it. Well, that's how you Cold keep it Cuts on, is is blue suede. Unfortunately, I think it's intended for a child, but it should cover your bald spot beautifully. It uh, it has a lot of of beautiful um, Jewish com- Jewish etch- etchings on it. It's quite comfortable. And mine is camouflage <laughs> because all I wear is camouflage. <laughs> yeah, and I wear I wear pink all the time. So we all have that, our, our see, kippas okay, upon our heads. You just completed a fantastic look because. Of, of your facial hair and the way your hair is the way it's just shaped it that you just look like a rabbi now it's perfect it, so I'm the most Jewy one of the three <laughs> yeah. of us at this point there's no shine coming off your head anymore in fact Aww. I think we need to take this show on the road I think we need to walk down a very busy <laughs> like maybe over at uh, uh, at the uh, touristy thing over there and uh, I think it'd be better if we got him the, the big top hat and, and you, had some curl, have I some think curls I, I oh, have the, the Jewy curls. I, yeah, I have my dad's. Uh, what, what's the book? The Torah? dirty diaper. <laughs> the, t- the, the it's like the Jewish oh, Bible or whatever. Yeah, the, oh. I've got it. I'll give it to you. You'll hold it up and you, we'll walk behind you. And you do, and I just want to see people's reactions to you with the camouflage yarmulke holding this Torah, just walking up and down the sidewalk. There. You know what's funny is I was I was in a bookstore many years ago. I still had this big beard. It, it wasn't as beautifully colored as it is now um and i literally was i was looking at you know the stupid shitty dungeons and dragons books by the bathroom or whatever the fuck it was and this little old guy comes out of the bathroom he's like may i ask you a question (laughs) and he sounded like jackie mason like no shit okay he goes may i ask you a personal question i was like sure he's like are you part of a religious sect and right off the bat he was asking me if i was a jew and i was like uh sorry sir i am not so but Excuse but now me, but uh, now but now with this camouflage kippa, I'm 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 pulling it off. Huh? My my son, uh, are you circumcised? <laughs> Would you care to find out? <laughs> you so, have a note on yours. You didn't have one on yours. No. Did you see the beautiful etchings on his on his kippa? No, I can't. It's on Here, show him now. your kippa. It's blue suede, bro. He's like fucking Elvis. <laughs> wow and see he's there's like a menorah there's like the yeah it's got like a little castle so uh what store did you buy these on or buy them in i bought them at the amazon store <laughs> <laughs> where else would you get them? yeah where else would i buy three so you know, random so now yarmulkes. amazon is gonna send you emails with uh so it's menorahs even, and it's even better that I got, I got a pink one he, of course you he had a, he had to customize these and i got a pink one man i dug through pages and pages and pages of yarmulkes and i saw the pink one and i knew right off the bat it was for you bro oh, thank you in case our listeners are wondering, um, BLT is questionable in his sexual preference. I actually almost bought. <laughs> I brought almost brought a menorah here mm. to light the candles. Dude, we, can we light one, two, three in today's four? I would have to get one though, because I don't. I don't own one. You don't own a menorah? No. What about a dreidel? Nope. Do you own anything? I, I own a prayer book. Oh, from what? Give you bar mitzvah. Yep. Or even before that. But man, you guys look pretty pretty dapper in those in those yarmulkes. It holes. feels good. The suede feels good. Actually, you know what? It is kind of comfortable. It's like a little skull cap. Oh, you feel warmer. I feel like Ian I McKay think, um, and Fagazi. I actually think that uh, there could be a, a market 
maybe not a big one for designing cool yarmulkes. Yarmulkes? Yeah. Well, when I saw the camo one, I thought I was like, dude, that's perfect because I pretty much only wear black shirts and camo cargo shorts. So, you <laughs> like know, you are now. Like I am actually at this very moment. Yeah. Can you make me a a kiss? Somehow design me a kiss yarmulke. Fuck yeah. And make it a little bit bigger so it feels like more like a hat. Yeah. Yeah, I could do that. It'll just say... Um, could have the star, uh, Paul Stanley star on it. Yeah. You know what? You know what? You know what? It'll have a star with an eye Fuck in it. Fuck that. I bet Gene Simmons actually sells a whole line of kiss uh, Hanukkah. <laughs> right. Right. Dude, I guarantee he does. I fucking guarantee he does. <laughs> if he doesn't, then I think he should <laughs> if, <laughs> bring it to his attention. If Gene Simmons, who is a Jew, hasn't found a way to make that monetarily... Beneficial for Kiss, he is now. He has condoms and a coffin. I I can almost guarantee he, he has the He is our number one listener. I don't know if you guys know that. He emailed me last week. Gene is like, "Hey man, it was hilarious what you said about Paul, and it's totally true." Did he say that he owns Naughty Time? And- no. And he said, <laughs> and he said, <laughs> he's gonna. He's. I'm gonna copy. I'm gonna trademark Naughty Time. You piece of shit. No. He said it's true what you said about Paul. The re- he used to have two stars, but I banged one off. That's what he said. <laughs> Well, he licked it off with his well, not a little, you know. Mm. So, what are my fucking nicknames, douchebags? I know uh, Cold Cuts already has one, which he's pretty much been stuck to it's, since. Yeah, you once, only once, you only you only picked one. He out? only has one because there only I only need one. No, but you can give me the rundown at least right. to insult me ahead of time. I, I don't need to. I I okay. came yesterday. I came up with a quick list. It then was, then it was you very quick you start since you got a list. And right. BLT almost didn't make it today because. Um, I guess you're having your uterus removed or something. <laughs> and I guess uh, you postponed your surgery. So thank you for showing up today. My pleasure. Mm. 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 All right. Happy Hanukkah, guys. Okay, so since you you gave me m- mainly Jewish names and you didn't come out and say, I'm going to give you Jewish names. Well, why would I tell you? Well, Are you I, giving me Jewish names? No. Oh, I got excited. Although I, 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 I am wearing a yarmulke. I could have came up with some. So oh, Okay. You're, you're a little little large. <laughs> not, not, I mean, not super large. I'm chubby, but on the large side. And um, that yarmulke is covering up a good portion of, uh, oh, well, your your bald my solar bald panel. Head. So um, you got a couple things going there. So I like how you got to preface this with a, with a, with an act like physical description. Well, thanks, man. People don't know you. You came out and you you we started off saying, uh, "Is your is, are you Jewish? Is your mother's vagina Jewish?" So you kind of started it out like that before you gave. Our I names. never. I didn't call you fat on the air, dude. <laughs> I didn't tell anybody that you're a Jew with a Hitler's haircut. Like, yes, what you fuck? did. <laughs> oh, did I? The whole no, conversation was no, how we're Jewish. <laughs> okay, but not your physical traits. Okay, the first one. All right, <clears throat> kick me in the balls. <laughs> what you forget how to read? Alopecia. <laughs> that's the uh, medication for baldness. It no, that's yeah. pro- it's it, propecia. It means hair loss. Oh, propecia is the medicine. My bad. Yeah, alopecia. No, that's stupid. Right. How about alopecia? Bye, Felicia. <laughs> <laughs> that right. was stupid. Next one, Uncle Fester. <laughs> I kind of like that one actually because I'm covered in hair. Well, he's a fat, creepy bald guy. So, oh no, I'm sorry. I'm thinking of uh, Uncle. Oh, no, wait. Who's the hairy one? Um, that's not Uncle cousin Fester. It. Cousin it. Yeah, I'm that sorry. Could have been it too. Oh, no, Uncle Fester. You know, wow. But Uncle Fester doesn't have a beard, so that's true. But he is a fat piece of shit. I don't think any of these people have a beard, so I think I maybe need wait, to wait, go wait, back wait. to the charring part. Wait, you should, <laughs> the most obvious trait of mine is this gigantic well, white ob- fucking beard. Obvious to you. Oh Christ. Curly. Christ on a crutch. Oh, Cur- oh, Curly is... That's the next one name? Yeah. From the Three Stooges? Yeah. He's bald and funny. You're bald and funny. <laughs> Man, these, these, aren't, these aren't as good as mine. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're tanking here, bro. Listen, I came up with these really quick. He has one. So I did, give me a little bit of credit. Well, when you hear it, you'll know it's... I only needed it one. He's and, been calling me that since... And you've we, been coming up with names for at least a year. Actually, most of the names I read on episode one, I came up with that morning. Bullshit. I swear. I actually, if you look at my list, there's actually a bunch I skipped over. Those are the ones I came up with previously, but all the ones I came up with. I'm not, on, I'm not with, thrilled with these, but there's something. It's better than nothing. I get, I, really? Francis. Francis? From Pee Wee Herman. 
<laughs> dude, if I had hit that dude's tub, remember he had the coolest fucking bathtub it was a ever. Pool. <laughs> yeah, it was like a fucking indoor mini pool. Francis is busy. Busy doing what? He's taking his bath. Oh yeah, where are they holding him down? <laughs> where are they holding him down? It was just funny. I watched Teen Wolf the other day, and Francis, Francis isn't it? That's that's where I, I was looking it up on the internet, and that's the thing that came up. What first. was his name in Teen Wolf, though? See, I just I he just had a saw funny it name. Oh, it was um Chubby Chubsy. I think it something. Like I just that. fucking watched it. His nickname was um yeah. It, it was it was Chubby or Chubs. They call him Chubs. No, something like that. No, it was something to that effect, though. You got any more? Captain Picard. Why? Well, he's bald and he's a captain. He's the captain of the show. You're going to call me Picard? Listen. <laughs> oh, man. This is painful, man. I got. I got, I got. asked you to be on this podcast because you're funny. Okay. This is not funny. And now, if you had said Captain Retard, that would have been funny. <laughs> <laughs> captain there, Jean-Luc Retard. So there Retard. you go. There you go. You, it's now Captain Retard. Captain Jean-Luc Retard. <laughs> All right. Jean-Luc Jean-Luc Retard Alright Last movie one Dynamo 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 is the fat uh, Guy with light bulbs on him From Running Man Who sings oh, opera Oh my god That guy's amazing <laughs> Dude you can call me Dynamo all day That's fantastic <laughs> <laughs> Alright those are the Hey light bulb I those, like that one Those are the movie ones But I had one That seems like It's kind of fitting I don't think the audience Would know First of all Nothing fits me <laughs> That's true Because apparently I'm a fat piece of shit <laughs> My last one would be The Reverend The Reverend Okay. Because you are ordained. I am an ordained uh, reverend minister, yes. I married some friends of ours, and I am officially the world's worst reverend. <laughs> Where did you get your whatever? Online, bro. I know, but what is there like a church? Yeah, the American Marriage Ministries or something. He didn't make get, it go was, to like one of those cool ones? Dude, it was free. <laughs> And the state of Florida recognizes it. I don't need to sign nothing. I sign my name. I write down my AMM number, and I'm fucking good to go. I'm the reverend. So can you marry us right now? Oh, yeah. You guys want to get married? Even, I mean... I don't have any stance against gay marriage. I think it's fantastic. You want to ruin your fucking life? But what's, ruin your fucking life. What's the rule? Like, can you just be like, hey, guys, you guys are married, and it's done? No, I need to sign a, a marriage certificate. But Which can means, you do that and then just sign a marriage? Or I guess we would have, you to, have, to, you, apply we'd have to apply for No, first of all, you don't have to do a ceremony and read words to be married. It's literally a, a piece of paper. You both sign it, I sign it, you're done, you're married. Says the guy who's not married and has been dating someone for years. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, which reminds me, <laughs> uh, we just got our, our Christmas tree the other day. Mm-hmm. And we were talking about not getting a Christmas tree. We've been fighting about it all week. We've been together, what, me and my girlfriend, for you got a, 12 fucking years. You got, right? a, you got a real tree? Yeah, a real tree. We've been going back and forth, you know, and, but I told her that instead of getting a Christmas tree, we should probably just wrap Christmas lights around her cankles and call it a fucking, <laughs> call it a fucking oh, holiday. Which is probably why you're not married. No, 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 no. And, and it's funny because the surface area of her cankles are greater than the tree you bought. And the funny thing is she has two. So. That's not true at all. No, that's not true. I've been trying to convince her for 12 years now that she has cankles. I know she, you have. You bring it she, up uh, whenever you can. And she will not. She will not buy it. Good. I am a piece of shit. Maybe I should just be PS, POS. What's up, POS? I like that. That fits. POS? POS? It's like Haas, but POS. What's up, POS? First of all, I can't give myself a nickname. I do like the Reverend. Um, we, I, you know, we do have some friends that call me Reverie. I like Jean-Luc Retard. That's Jean-Luc Retard is pretty good. I could be a uh, Ricardo Retardo Montabon. Or, uh, or Rick, right. how about Ricky Retardo? But then there's now mine. cold cuts. Cold cuts has one. I have one. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think he even mentioned it the last. One. Oh, of course. He's been well, yeah, saying because, it. He's been saying it since last time. Yeah, because clearly you're you're a fat piece of shit. And, <laughs> wow. Uh, you you have this Jesus beard, so fat ass Jesus. But you shorten that, and you got faj or faj. See, I don't like F A J. I, I how about fat Jesus? Just F J. Okay. That's also good. Because I drive an FJ Cruiser, right. which is which makes it funnier, I guess. But I don't really see myself as Jesus, because Jesus never made it this old. FJ is not a s- Jesus Jesus didn't hadn't turned gray by the time they hung that fucker up on that <laughs> on that wood on those railroad ties or whatever it was. 
And he would know because he killed him. <laughs> yeah, no, you both killed them. You both. I was going to say, you even know who Jesus is, you murdering motherfuckers. And I was going to say, too, you can't call me Fat Jesus because I'm afraid that you guys are going to fucking plot against me and murder me. Because that's what Jews do. So Fat Jesus was the original one. FJ. Because you drive the FJ. But I don't like saying FJ. I like saying Faj. Hey, Faj. I think all these names are horrible to say normally. BLT. Cold cuts. It's, yeah, it's all awkward. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm actually I'm actually used to it now. We got cold cuts. We got BLT, and we got you got F- a FJ. number one over here. A- FJ, God or Faj? How about God? <laughs> no, how about not? So, what do you think? It's up to you. I'll let you pick. I, I I prefer. I like I like the Reverend. Call me Rev. Rev is fine. Reverend Faj. <laughs> but see, no, no. Even if it was just FJ, you could still call me like Faj or Fij. Like you know, you have a friend named DJ, you call him Dej. Or guy BJ, you call him Bij. You guys know all about BJs, right? So, how about you call whatever you call yourself whatever you want? I'll just call you Faj. I'll call myself awesome. I'll call you Jesus. I'll call you Fat Jesus. I'll call you Fat Ass Jesus. How about this? How about you just call me Fat? <laughs> and that'll that'll be an acronym for fucking awesome turd <laughs> <laughs> or that's maybe that's what the fat stands for in jesus how fucking about, awesome how about turd reverend jesus. Fage. Or Fage? no that's weird it's too much i'm fine calling you the reverend well you guys when you guys address me on the show i don't care if you say my name or you call me whatever just as long as i know you're talking to me or about me you know what i mean now i'm gonna call you guys cult cuts and blt because that's what we've agreed on and it clearly, Cold Cuts is horrible with the beeps because it took us about 12, 12 tries to get the first episode <laughs> uploaded and, and ready to go. Yes. So, and I haven't said any names, but you guys can say my name because I'm clearly promoting Please don't. it. No, you can say my name. It's fine. No, I'm not. I think we'll definitely need something to hang on the mics that have the names as a reminder. What, what do you need a reminder for? Because I said it like 15 times last episode. Right. But now you know it's Cold Cuts. That's before so we had far, nicknames. So far, so good. Okay. Anyway, we're getting better at this. Yeah, we're more prepared. Last time we kind of got ambushed with it. I didn't. I didn't realize we were doing names. At least I got ambushed with it. You felt ambushed. Yeah. Like. Like you do to Jews. I don't ambush Jews. <laughs> they ambush me. Are you part of a religious sect? <laughs> Look at him. He looks like a rabbi now. I am a fucking rabbi. Well, how about you just call me rabbi instead of Rev? No. Call me Rab. <laughs> I think rabbi is pretty good. Because I'm the only I'm the only non-Jew in the. Is there is there more of a nickname word for rabbi? There's probably a Yiddish word for it. I was actually looking for Yiddish words for fat and bald. (laughs) Fat and bald. (laughs) They didn't roll off the tongue very good. Uh, You are a fucking dickhole. (laughs) I you know I didn't look for beard. Maybe we should look that. The most obvious trait I know besides my fatness and your baldness. (laughs) Although the the yarmulke does does cover that up. He spent a lot of time this week. Coming up with ways to just tell you that you're fat, that you have a problem. It wasn't a lot of time. It was literally like <laughs> 10 minutes. <laughs> he was trying to tell laptop. you something. I guarantee it was during lunch at work while he was on the shitter. But he Actually, focused I've, a whole no. lot of energy on the fact that you're fat. But you're not, or large, but you're not that large. Mm. No, dude, I'm husky, but I, yeah. I'm not fat. That's why it's funny, fucker. <laughs> man, you glance right over the fun, the, the <laughs> man. It'd be horrible to me if I was really like calling him fat and he was actually fat. Like I call like him, huge. I call BLT fat all the time, because and I'm skinnier than him no, by probably fifty pounds. No, I don't know about that. It's because you're a foot shorter than me. But <laughs> if we see, he used to. I almost said your name. He, BLT <laughs> BLT used to be much thinner, but now he's like a big glazed donut. <laughs> we all used to be much. Actually, thinner. he's lacking the glaze. Cold cuts? Do you care to glaze him? I am glazing him. <laughs> he's oh, he's eye glazing you. <laughs> checking out Ooh. those, checking out those sausage tits you got there. Oh shit! You know what? You I'm know what already goes, BLT. You can't you know start goes, making new names. You know what goes great with sausage? Horsey sauce. Gravy. <laughs> Man gravy. Have a little sausage and gravage. <laughs> anyway, guys. So, how you been since last time? Wait, did we settle on a name? Are you rabbi or are you reverend? I don't care what the fuck you call me. Oh. I like the rabbi, honestly, because you're wearing the fucking yarmulke. It's <laughs> Tell fucking you what, beautiful. I'll wear this yarmulke every fucking time we record if, if you want me to. I think the rabbi makes more sense now that 
But can you get the tassels? Can you like get a, a clip on? Uh, like, oh, yes. like curly yes. hair. I don't think he can even do that. I think if he takes his beard and just strings it up a little bit, I think he can pull it off. Like this? Hold on, let's see. If I can. I know you you do it over your ears sometimes. <laughs> Not even that. Now you, you look like that? Blackbeard. <laughs> Minus the black, and I'm just big old gray beard. Mm-hmm. So uh, what 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 is it? I think Come Rabbi. On, let's, is, let's move on. I think Rabbi is good. Rabbi or the Rabbi, whatever. Today it's the Rabbi. You call me Rab. No, you guys can give me a new nickname every episode, but I'm sure our listeners are tired of hearing us doling out nicknames. All right. Well, moving on. Again, you ambushed us. You didn't say, hey, come prepared with a name. I did for this one. I said, bro, this you one fuckers you did. get together and pick a name. But I'm saying this, it's only going on because you didn't tell us ahead of time to do it for episode one. You mean well, you think you would have been prepared for that one? <laughs> You're prepared for this one. I at least came up with six. He came up with one. Well, it's now it's two. He it's because he's not very creative. No, I'm not. I mean, look at him. Look in his dark little black eye, beady eyes. There's no creativity behind them. It's just murder. None. Murder and sadness. Hate. Sadness. Pure sadness. I'm not funny. His, <laughs> his eyes are filled with jizz. Your eyes are filled with hate. Hate and jizz. Ooh. Is that? Oh, that's what I'll... No, I haven't sent this to you yet. There's no jizz. Um, he cries but jizz. I found... Do you want some? I found this, uh, this new hot holiday gift, and I think it'd be perfect for you. Um, for me? I don't know if you've seen it. It's been it's been sort of like the thing that's being passed around online. Uh, you can take a mold besides of your, BLT? you can take they'll you can this company will send you a kit to take a mold of your anus, and they'll make a chocolate. Oh it. yeah, I've seen I that think, a few yeah, years ago. Yeah, it. yeah. Would Ass- you would you eat a chocolate? I would eat your asshole. Would you really? <laughs> if it was made of chocolate, <laughs> I would do it too. But it, it doesn't have to be made. If of it chocolate. was milk chocolate, I would eat your asshole. You know what? I'm gonna fucking surprise you guys one day. Secret. On the sh- on the show, secret Santa. with my chocolate assholes. I mean, come on, you already did the nipple pillow, and that was epic. That I mean, was can you imagine epic. if you just had a box of chocolate assholes, and you wouldn't tell anybody that's your say, hey, the, you know, this is cool chocolate. They would just they would just and they would take chocolate. a bite, and they're like, I don't understand the shape. It's my asshole, and they're, ah! Ah! <laughs> just, wow. you're all eating, and you had everybody eat at the same time. Well, let me ask a you a question. I'm eating, you're eating my asshole. Would Paul Stanley eat chocolate assholes? He probably sells them. Branded. Oh, I bet you... Gene Simmons, there's another... <laughs> hey, get Gene Simmons on the phone. Hey, Gene, you, have you guys considered selling chocolate assholes? I bet they'd be stars. They would be stars. It's chocolate starfish. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait. That's Limp Biscuit. They're terrible. No, but I mean, what, what does Paul Stanley have to say about this? Eat my asshole! <laughs> you people want to lick my asshole! Go ahead and swallow it down. <laughs> Lick it up. Lick it up. I was just about to do that. <laughs> Lick it up. Oh! Lick my asshole. <laughs> Let's eat my asshole now. Well, yeah, I guess technically you you could you could. Well, because it, chew there, on it. There was that but, thing but for. I don't one. want to chew on an asshole. I just want to tongue punch it. Have, <laughs> have you seen the uh, the bag of dicks website? Where you can send a bag of gummy dicks to somebody? Yes. To eat a bag of dicks? Yes, yes. That's pretty funny. Now you can have one that just says, eat my asshole. I would rather just send someone a bag of, of circumcised tips. Oh. Leathery and chewy. <laughs> that's, that's, oh, that's actually pretty fucking gross. I don't know where you would go to get that. I mean, you come to my house. I got a box of them. You save your tips? <laughs> just the tips. <laughs> you go around to all the... Uh, the uh, Maybe the, we should call you the moil. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> Royal Moyle, call me Royal Moyle, and then you can just call me Royal for short. I like that. Wow, I like you just, that. You just so, go to because the Moyle is is, uh, is the right. guy who does the circumcisions. Does the circumcisions. Yeah, you drive around all the synagogues and pick up their tips. Yeah. Did you hear about the? I'm the I'm the quicker tipper picker upper. <laughs> There's an older tradition apparently that like the rabbi has to bite the tip off. What? I swear to God. I'm not biting no tips off. I'm not saying. <laughs> I mean, I'll bite y'all's, I'm not saying I'll bite y'all's e- tips off. I'm not but. saying you're even going to do it at, at all. You're not even going to cut it. You're just, you'll be called the moil. I don't actually have to do circumcisions? No. Well, then don't call me the moil. Well, if we call you the rabbi, then. <laughs> no, that's true. Circumcisions are weird. I'm glad I don't remember mine. Do you remember yours? No. Do you remember yours? No, but I, they fucked it up. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You have like a weird, like, fuck up scar on your penis? I've got like a, it's just like. Like a tongue, a uh, snake. I don't tongue. think it was the result. Maybe it was a real circumcision, but there's like this little tiny, 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 tiny bit of skin, like right over the hole. Show us. So when I pee, I pee in two streams because it hits this little thing oh. and it goes. Pfft. 
I only do that if I jerk off at night and wake up and pee in the morning. <laughs> or have sex. Because it hardens and it's... Yeah, you get that little, you don't that, pee, you that don't, little semen sealed You don't section. pee afterward? Well, no, no, not always. No, I have to be careful at every public urinal that one stream doesn't go off out of the urinal. So wait, so it's like a permanent thing over yes, the hole? Yes, so like, skin. You can't like pull it back? No, I don't. I'm circumcised. No, I know, but you... Oh, oh. really? It's empty. So, so wait, so... I almost spilled my beer. So, your hole is like snake eyes? So, imagine the hole. Not snake eyes. A right here. Tongue. And there's like this little piece of skin like right here. Oh, I don't I know see. if that's a result I of... Think, I think I have the same thing. Because every now and then that happens to me. But, but it happens it's, it's to not, me 100% of the time. Well, this, yeah, not me. That's I, not have, me. I have a clear ring around my penis that's darker <laughs> than the rest. Like where the cutting happened. I and then I also, I, also, I, also, I also get like this... I also have like this little hole... <laughs> Just beneath my my, a second hole. Like you know where like the head like scoops up, you know like the German helmet, uh-huh. and then it comes up to the hole and the peen. Okay. Well, I have like this little pocket beneath it that kind of like I get like like uh, blackheads in, and I need to squeeze them like Ugh. once a year. It's weird, dude. Ugh. Yeah, I'm the worst moil there is. <laughs> You're disgusting. Doyle the moil. <laughs> No, you know what? I bet you. I bet lots of our listeners have weird dick issues. I mean, that's just part of being a dude, right? Nope. You have a dick issue. You got a weird dick. You're obsessed with dicks. That's your issue. So here's what I don't understand about circumcision. It's a Jewish thing, but yet a lot of non-Jews have it, like you. Right. Well, I think Why? there was. I think there was the. I think during a war, from, from what I hear, during wartime, it was. It was the soldiers were getting infections. Um, so that was part of the reason why they were starting to circumcise non-Jewish people. Yeah. I mean, because you go they're for getting we- infections. What fucking from not, from, not, from not cleaning? No, you go for weeks without showering and stuff, and you get you oh. get that that sleeve up over your peen, and that you get cheese. all the bacteria in there. You get all that. I don't that know. I don't cheese. have a sleeve on my peen. Well, you've seen them though. No, I actually haven't. You've never seen what an uncircumcised penis looks like. Well, maybe you had a job it, in porn in a for porno. Yeah, 20. but you got to understand, people in porno are circumcised. There's a lot of no, there's, some, there's a good amount of uncircumcised peens out are you there. Got, are you googling when you look at porn? You googling uncircumcised? No, but you can definitely tell the difference between <laughs> between. I've the had two. I've had friends and family that are uncircumcised. I know what uncircumcised dick looks like. Okay, I understand what it looks. like. I can't like, say I know what it tastes. like. But I don't like. know what it's the experience of having a dirty uncircumcised dick is for three or four weeks without showering. I don't get that. Well, the only the only way you can get your penis out of the sheath is. It's from by like, getting bony or sliding it down, and it's hard to do when you're limp, apparently. So that bacteria just collects in there. It's so like, you're saying that all these people and these soldiers were going weeks without showering, and their dicks were getting infected. So they decided to line them all up and cut their. I don't yeah. know. I don't know the backstory. I don't know yeah, if, just if it was done after the fact. Chop or it off. They decided, hey, it'd probably be a good idea to start circumcising our children in case they need to. In case I don't. They need to <laughs> go to war. Yeah. Okay. Spend Trump's three weeks America. in the jungle. <laughs> Well, I know um, I've had friends who are uncircumcised and, you know, when they go to the doctor, you know, they have a regiment of cleaning. So that doesn't happen, I guess. Do they use a toothbrush? Whereas ours are just, you know, free and clean and clear and GTG, bro. (laughs) Good to go. (laughs) Just the tip. I'll be honest, though. Uncircumcised dicks look weird. They taste weird. (laughs) Oh, God. I mean, so I've heard. Old chorizo over here. You ready for uh Yeah, I need another beer. Are we taking a beer break again already? Yeah, yeah. How far into this are we? 32 minutes. Okay, beer break. We'll BRB, y'all. That night I wrote Cherry Pie. Sent it to him. He lived with it over the weekend, and all of a sudden, the album's called Cherry Pie. The record's called Cherry Pie. I'm doing Cherry Pie eating contests. The single's Cherry Pie, right? If I'm lying, I'm dying. And my legacy is cherry pie. Everything about me is cherry pie. I'm a cherry pie guy. I could shoot myself in the head for writing that song. We're back. So, yes. hey, it's the holidays. Yeah, Christmas is, is in just a handful of days. I haven't bought anything yet because I'm poor. I need money. This is the first Christmas ever that I bought 100% of everything online, including like a kid's bike. What'd you get all from Amazon? Yeah. 
Everything from Amazon? Everything. I typically do all my shopping online. Like, I don't... I hate going to to stores anyway. Like, just fucking in general. And Amazon just makes it too fucking easy. And it was cheaper? Yeah. Free shipping? Yeah. Or your Prime member? Yeah. Yeah, of course. How about you, BLT? Am I a Prime member? Did you buy Christmas presents? No, I'm a Jew. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I thought you were Islamic. No, no, my... Uh... My wife did all the shopping. What about you? Buy anything for your wife? She buys her own gifts. We didn't buy anything for each other. Did you buy me something? No. What the fuck, man? You're gonna come in here and insult me like you did earlier with all those horrible fat. Now everybody knows I'm fat. And... Oh wait, wait. My wife made you cookies. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> fat ass. Your wife, your wife's cookies. I, I got you gone. a gift certificate to the old country buffet. Your wife's cookies are delicious. Wink, son of a bitch. Wink, wink. Mm. There it is. All this penis talk, and he's going to town. So I'm the only one here that's not married. Right? What's that like? It's fucking glorious. <laughs> Isn't that gratifying? Wouldn't that be gratifying to not be married and shit your pants on stage? <laughs> Wouldn't that be gratifying? I can't I can't get past that from the first episode. Just the way you say wouldn't that be gratifying? <laughs> I actually wanted to sample it and like keep hitting it like throughout our conversation just to annoy you. <laughs> When Maybe did he I say should've. it when he was talking about shitting his pants? Yeah, he goes, wouldn't that be gratifying? You're saying how you wanted to shit, intentionally shit your pants in front of a stage full of... A, a well, room I have of- imagined what it would feel like. <clears throat> I don't think I've wanted to do it. I would have done it already. I've had plenty of opportunities. Well, didn't you do it? I kind of, but not <laughs> not like in a gratifying way. Oh, okay. If he was wearing a diaper, it would have been gratifying because he could have done it intentionally, is right. what you're saying. Right. I mean, I would, I, would, I would set it up. I would eat the right kind of food. I'd put the diaper on. What would you eat? Oh, God. Yeah, uh, Taco Bell. Oh, wait. Eat Taco Bell again. Some dairy, you know, like blue cheese or something because that always gives me the shits. Um, some taco, no, some cheese. bean stuff, you know. Can you just look at photos of BLT? Doesn't that give you the shits? <laughs> and then uh, drink some coffee, you know, and then uh, just run around and play some shitty music and just stop right in the middle, give everybody a look and just smile and shit my pants. Would you let them know that you shit your pants though? Would you like be like, I'm shitting. Would there be like a hand signal? <laughs> could, I, could you do the make? Be, I have no shame. I would have announced. I would, I would, I would Ladies and gentlemen, I am shitting my pants. <laughs> anyway, we talked about shitting our pants last time. Although I do want to bring up that I heard a story that beats yours about shitting your pants on stage. You know who John Five is? Yeah. The, the guitar, guitar player oh, from... Yeah, I saw something. I didn't read it. But, from uh, uh, Rob Zombie? Yeah. Well, there's this podcast or show... And he told a story about pooping his pants on stage. So you've been you've been one up to my friend. I don't hear. Give me the story. He pooped his pants on stage. That doesn't. Top I don't my remember story. all the details. I, sh- I poop my pants on stage. I don't remember the details, but he played in front of a much bigger audience. I just, I just so read that. It doesn't make it any. So better. he wins. I just read the headline and I moved on. Hmm. No, he didn't. He probably read it six times and jerked off to it. That's actually a worse story because you don't know the story. Speaking of jerking off. Have you guys ever been caught with a boner or in the middle of pleasuring yourself by friends or family? Have you? I have a pretty funny story about being a kid. Should I start with mine? Yeah, sure. All right, you remember those? I'm going to start anyway. (laughs) You remember those? uh, We're all old enough. Um, It used to be junk mail. Like somehow my mom, my mom had a, had a, I almost said prescri- she had a prescription to Playgirl. <laughs> so I used to sneak. Oh, yeah. God. Oh, yeah. Dicks. Dicks galore, dude. So I used to sneak into her room and she had like this nightstand full of magazines. Right. And she's like, if you ever go in my room and touch my stuff, I'll know you've been there. But I was so good about memorizing exactly how shit was. I would put it back exactly the same. So I would fish out all these magazines and be flipping through Playgirl and going looking at guys with dicks going, I don't get it. Like, I'm like, oh, she's a woman. I guess I get it. But I'm like, didn't do nothing for me, right? So, because she had a subscription to Are there to, any women play in Playgirl? No, it was mostly, it was mostly like Burt Reynolds looking dudes standing around with boners. Like, that's all it was. With like the, um, a towel covering it, like hanging, hanging off it. No, it was, they were, no, it was like, it was <laughs> no, like. No, I know there was everything, but I'm sure oh, they had to like, <laughs> mix it up. Like the, 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 the boner drape. Like, look, I have a boner and there's, yeah. there's a, a nice blanket draped over my boner. Like that Amy, uh whatever who's the comedian new comedian amy schumer yeah that movie train wreck train wreck i haven't seen it oh yeah john cena has a towel on his dick well thanks for ruining my train of thought man 
But anyway, and so I would I would sneak in there and I would, you know, just I just wanted to I was just flipping through her shit just because I could get away with it, you know. So because of that, she used to get this 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 uh, direct mail garbage. One was called Adams and Adam and Eve. Mm-hmm. And they basically sold like. Yeah, they're still around. They advertise in like Rolling Stone. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this may have been like in their infancy stage. This is like early 80s, maybe. And we, she she would always give me all the junk mail because she maybe she thought maybe it made me feel important. She's like, oh, Ryan, there's mail for you. And it's just a bunch of junk mail. One of them was in this unmarked envelope and it was Adam and Eve catalog, right? So I'm flipping through this up in my room and I'm probably like fucking 10, right? I'm flipping through it and there's like these naked chicks in it. One of them has like a dildo jammed in her vagina <laughs> and it's this bush, bushy vagina. So I'm flipping through it and there's like, you know, ads for dildos, ads for all this crazy shit that Adam and Eve sells. Did you get confused because there was a penis inside someone instead of it hanging out outside of their body like you were normally used to? No, I knew it? exactly what was up, dude. Okay. So it was, it was, it was, it, this magazine was probably like six inches tall by like four or five inches wide. So I remember lying in bed at night with, with a flashlight and a magnifying glass just so I could see this girl's vagina because like so in the magazine sm- it was so small it was so magazine. small I had I, I needed to, to see it closer right <laughs> I needed to see this naked lady as close as possible so I remember, I remember laying in bed like with the sheet over my head staring at this chick I had like a fucking raging heart on right and I, I remember hearing my mom come up the stairs how old are you 10 10 or 11 maybe maybe 9 I don't know I mean, that, that that goes to a whole other story, too. Like, when did you first jerk off? I was probably like fucking 10, whatever. I'm a little ahead of the curve. So. <laughs> Jerking off well, the dudes. <laughs> I'm very hairy. I was, I never jerked. The playgirl. No. Come on. No, I never. Come I never, on now. No, I never jerked Come off on, to dudes. Come on, we're all friends here. I never jerked off to dudes. Sorry. Not once? Not once, no. Come on, man. I was fascinated to see a bunch of guys with dicks hanging out, but I never understood it. And then one, but about, once I started seeing naked girls, I was like, oh, shit. Then I started getting little bonies. Did you continue to look at them the first time you saw it? It Mm-mm. sounds like you did. Cause you, no, no, no. You, you said something about going in and memorizing the page. No, like no, 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 not the <laughs> that page. That was the playgirl. No, no, that's no, that's no, the Eve no I was yeah. just saying she always she would, could always tell if we were snooping around in her shit. But I was really good about memorizing how things were stacked. That's what I mean. The so I only, magazines. I only went, I only went through the Playgirls once, and then I was just like, eh. <laughs> so, but then I got this Adam and Eve catalog, and this was my go-to for like a year. Okay, but anyway, I heard my mom coming up the stairs. I'm under the sheets. I got a flashlight. I'm, I'm magnifying glass. I'm trying to see this this chick with a hairy bush with a holding a you know a little vibrator in her vaj, and um, I hear my mom coming up the stairs. There was always like this one telltale creak, like. <laughs> And I was like, oh, shit, my mom's coming. So <laughs> Mommy, I, no. I turned off the flashlight. <laughs> I stuffed the magazine up under my pillow. And I'm laying in bed, like on my side with like this fucking raging heart on. <laughs> and my mom is like, why are you still awake? And I'm like, uh, I couldn't sleep. She's like, we need to go to sleep. And she goes to like pull the blanket up and like pull it up further and tuck me in. And I'm like holding on to it. I'm gripping onto it with, with, my, with dear life. I'm like, if she moves this, she's going to see my boner what if she right? moved it and you blew a load all over <laughs> all over my mom it probably wouldn't be the first time wait my mom or your mom wait who, whose mom are we talking your, about your mom oh yeah it wouldn't be the first time anyway and you know i mean babies get boners so she wouldn't have been surprised she'd have been like what the fuck but if she had seen that magazine dude she would have been super mad so i always looked forward to her giving me the junk mail because i never knew <laughs> what so did you get new ones I, I every never, now and then? I never knew in the mail if there'd be more penetration or not. <laughs> There's something weirdly weird about that you're getting an Adam and Eve catalog in the mail that's unsolicited porn. Well, I mean, it's probably not unsolicited. Well, she had she was getting Playgirl, so that, but it's not like protected by anything. That says, "Hey, this is pornographic." Because I know, having at worked the, for at the, at the time, this is the early '80s, dude. At the time, I know. But even then, having worked for a porn company, I know that you know if you're sending that stuff through the mail, you have to protect it. You can't just. And was maybe it, it was. Kind of maybe plastic. she just opened it up and was like, "Oh, here, no, no, Adam no, no, catalog." No, she didn't here, open Ryan. it. She saw a bunch of junk mail. I but, think it was in like a yellow yellow envelope, 
And it may have said like 18 and up on it or whatever, but she didn't notice. So she just handed me a stack of junk mail. Um, and I would always open all the junk mail and get like the fake bank cards and I would collect them. And I was like a little kid, you know. And then she gave me that and I opened it and it was like fucking, it was like the heavens rained gold coins <laughs> upon my head. I was so happy that I got to see. I remember those types tits, of catalogs too. Tits, dildos, and vaginas. But do you remember like the Sears catalogs? That you or the JC Penny catalogs, whatever they would send to your house around Christmas, and they would have like the lingerie section. Oh yeah, and they were like totally airbrushed everything out. Those used to get me excited. Yeah, yeah. They get you little little chubbers. Those were my uh, first bones. So wait, so when you um, when you when you, I guess I'll use the 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 non offensive term. When you ejaculate, does it come out in two streams too? <laughs> Maybe. Dude, that would be I'm like... I'm not paying much attention because my eyes are closed. I'm like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> that would be phenomenal if it, if it was coming out like two directions. You're like, you're like, you're like the snake man. You're like, hey, snake. Can I start calling you snake now instead? <laughs> as long as you call me Pliskin. Snake Dickens. <laughs> mm-hmm. So anyway, so that was the one time I was almost caught with an erection by my mother. But, you know, she she changed my diapers, so she probably saw my little baby boners. She, and, and trust me, they probably weren't very impressive. They're not very <laughs> impressive now. But I've never been caught by any friends or family or anyone since then. Have you? Have you ever had, like, your mom walk in, like, you're, you're like, mid-stroke? You're like, Mom, get out! Or, Mom, make me a sandwich! You know, try to detract from the situation? I don't think so. I, had a, s- I had a lock on my door, so... I want to say that I did, but I don't really, ha- it wasn't traumatic enough for me to really remember. It's not burning my memory. Cause we had a, uh, like my brother had his room and I had my room and I, you know, like a lock and but I had my own VCR and Whoa. I just, I, I know, but I, my, uh, we had Cinemax or HBO or whatever. And I remember recording one of these softcore porn porns and I watched it over and over and over again. Yeah. And that was always, you know, in that like early high school year, I was my go-to was this like, and it was like the Emmanuel movies. I was going to, dude, I was good. Dude, when you said Cinemax, I was going to say, was yeah. it Emmanuel? Yeah, yes, yeah, yes it was. <laughs> dude, I swear to God, I was going to say that. And, Emmanuel uh, one that, that tape, that tape got a lot of play. And I, I remember, I mean, cause I, I would always listen for the noises of, you know, the creaks and, you know, the doors opening and closing. So I was, I don't think I've ever been caught kind of in tune. I don't think like even though you're focused on like your your you know you got your dick in your hand you're focused on like oh, oh, oh you're still kind of like in tune to like the sounds <laughs> around you hoping that you don't get caught you know what I mean yeah you still jerk off right you still jerk off who doesn't do you of course but your wife your wife works from home so where do you find the time when she goes out with her friends whenever you do it in your car in the driveway before you come in. <laughs> I'm home from work. I'm just going to whack one out and walk in. Hey, babe, how was your day? I, I did it in the car before I came in here. <laughs> Speaking of which, uh oh, I remember, no, th- I mean, uh, you know, early on, like uh, middle school, early high school, jerking off became pretty much fucking sport for me. <laughs> wow. I don't know. Maybe there's a lot of kids like that, but it was almost like, like, you know, trying to find you know, new things to jerk off to or new ways to jerk off or, you know, could just sort of explain because this is before you, you know, had sex for the first time. I remember driving home from high school and jerking off in the car, you know, in the middle of the day, you know, just trying to see if I could do it. You know, just like, hey, I'm, I'm just going to do it. For real? Yeah. Just see if I can get a, get, if like I can get Like sitting at a stoplight just yeah. jerking your fucking dick. Yeah. Like, what about the trucker next to you? You probably made him happy. I was just like looking for a challenge. <laughs> Really? And it wasn't because I was like, oh my God, I got to jerk off because I'm, I'm addicted to this. It was just like, I'm bored. Was this because you grew up with Hulk Hogan in a Speedo? <laughs> I drive by Hulk Hogan's house and I jerk off in the car. <laughs> I jerk off into his mailbox. <laughs> Every day he goes to get his mail. like, hey brother, what's all this wetness? <laughs> that reminds me of a story. I worked at this pizza parlor and... Uh, oh God. Which was in the same neighborhood Don't as, ruin pizza as where for me. You know, Hogan lived. <laughs> Don't ruin pizza for me. It's my favorite. No, no, no. And I... And, um, I looked out. I was it's making. A, I, I had to make a sandwich for somebody. And I was in the kitchen, and, and I looked out, and it was a uh, Macho Man, Randy Savage, eating at the bar, and he was. It was just him. He was the only one in the in the whole restaurant. Oh yeah, and exactly. And so I I was like thinking of the, his television persona, and I was like, oh hey man, I'm a really. He goes, oh thanks very much. And he talked exactly how he did on television, which was fascinating to me. He was probably he was probably in character all day every day. 
because he can't oh, yeah. not be in character. This is a fantastic like, like meatball you, marinara sub, brother. Like, you can't walk up to Macho Man in Publix and you're like, hey, man, I'm a huge fan. He's like, he's like, oh, thanks a lot, dude. I appreciate it. No, dude, he has to be Macho Man. I think his actual voice was Macho Man, except yeah. for, like, when he was putting it on, doing, yeah, you know, really getting into it. But I think he still had that raspy voice. Yeah, but he always sounded like he was, he was trying to push out a turd. Like, oh, yeah. Right. Like, nobody talks like that. Snap like, into it. Snap into a Slim Jim, brother. <laughs> snap your Slim Jim into my butthole, brother. You know? <laughs> but, I mean, it's not, you can't walk up to that dude and he's just like, oh, hey, thanks a lot. Like, all soft spoken and weird. Like, yeah. he has to be Macho Man. Like, that's his, that is his life he that's has how, to be well he Gil- had to be i guess that's how gilbert God- godfrey is he well, talks he doesn't like, scream in your face when you meet him right but he like t- he's like totally like normal when he talks he's like oh hey guys how's yeah, it going absolutely. and then he's like i'm gilbert godfrey yeah <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> dude i always wanted to punch that dude in the dick like <laughs> shut the fuck up we get it you're jewish you know he's the affleck duck or he was the affleck. Affleck. well he was until they fired he got him. caught jerking off in a theater with Pee Wee no. Herman or something? No. He, he made a joke about a... Uh, 9-11. Su- no, tsunami. Oh, I thought it was the 9-11 <laughs> joke. Oh, God fucking forbid, dude. People get so butthurt over words. Isn't, doesn't that blow your mind? These are words, people. Like, I call you a name. It's a fucking word. Who cares? Nothing, nothing offends me. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a total douche. But they're just words, man. Fuck, fuck your butt hurtedness. Yo, you want your butt hurt? You want your butt to hurt? Called BLT. He'll make it happen, Captain. <laughs> was there a story that was uh, that was uh, here? Oh no, we were talking about uh, getting caught jerk off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't you? Um, and you, you said you were you enjoyed jerking off on the school bus or something like that. All the other kids on the school bus. Is that what you're saying? No, I was saying <laughs> jerked off. I was in the car in front of Hulk Hogan's house. And then you said once it got to jerking off the driver, that's when you're. That's when. <laughs> that's when the fun ended. No, but then when you start ejaculating for the first time and <laughs> things get messy, that changes the whole game. Oh, it's messy. Yeah. Yeah. You're just like, oh, my God, what the fuck do I do with this now? now I tell I you what, a whole I, nother level to this. I jerk off nowadays and it is super clean. Like I have my method down flawless. Like we fla- we flawless, right? <laughs> like I can jerk off and not spill a single little spermy man. You know what I'm saying? Like spill? there is not a single one unaccounted for. I have it down to a science. <laughs> But long story short, I probably started jerking off when I was ten. I remember, I remember, I I uh, I had a a Daytona Beach um postcard that I bought because I was living in Pennsylvania at the time, and I would come down in the summers to visit my dad with my sister, who's a piece of shit. <laughs> Both my dad and my sister, by the way. <laughs> I was um, gonna say which one. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no, nah, my sister's cool. I mean, she's she's a total jackass, but my dad's a piece of shit. Anyway, um, so I would come down here, and my uncle lived in Kissimmee. He lived in the trailer he was like super florida cracker dude you know so somehow i got a postcard from daytona beach like oh you want to buy a postcard and send it to your mom i'm like fuck yeah i do and i found this one with this chick on it in a bikini she had these huge tits right and i was probably 10 11 and i remember going i want this one (laughs) so i bought this one it was like 25 fucking cents my uncle gave me 25 cents and i jerked off to that (laughs) so many times did he send it to your mom afterwards? <laughs> Do you still have it? I should have. Oh, my God. Dude, if I still had it, that'd be amazing. I should have sent it to my mom. All jizzy and stainy. And she'd have loved that. But no, man. I remember it was this chick wearing a bikini, lying on the beach, and it was like, come to Daytona. And I remember, to I, Daytona. And I, remember, I remember the first time I was alone with that, I was just staring at it, and I'm just like. I got to come in Daytona. You're going to come on Daytona. And I'm just like. <laughs> Daytona man. was her name, too. I'm like, this chick has huge tits. I'm like. Something's happening more than more than the JC Penny catalog. So I remember I remember lying on the bathroom floor with a heart on jerking straight up into the sky. And I had and I had the postcard. I had the postcard sitting next to me, but oriented. So it looked like she was lying next to me. Oh, man, I remember this as plain as fucking day. And that was like a thousand years ago. A thousand. Yeah, a thousand. Yeah. Those are good fucking times, man. And today, since then, I've only jerked off driving in my car once. <laughs> <laughs> only once? Yeah. Well, it's because I was I was I was hanging out with this chick and we got super hot and heavy and I was all like, Oh man, I was like I was like, Girl, we gotta do this. She's like, No, I I gotta go to bed. I'm like, What the fuck? So clearly I was blue balling like crazy. So, you know, I gotta take one out on the way home. 
And that's a real fucking thing. A lot of people don't think that blue balls is real. Dude, I had a baseball hat in the back seat, and I I walk I walk to my car. <laughs> you fucked the baseball. I walk hat? to my car with this raging heart on, and I'm just like, yeah, okay. I'm like ready to cream my pants. I'm like, okay, thanks for nothing, girl. So I get in my car and I start driving home, and I'm in a stoplight, and it just won't go away. Like it's that hard, and I'm like, oh shit, there's a baseball hat in the back seat. So I grab my baseball hat, I open my pants, and I'm driving. I'm sitting at the red light, and I'm just like, I barely touched it, and I was like, oh. <laughs> What? There it is. What time? game over? What time was it? Oh, three o'clock in the morning. I don't oh, know. And then you had a game the next day, and you had to wear the hat. <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't play sports. No, it was just a. Actually, you know what? It wasn't a baseball hat. It was like a knit hat, like a knit, uh, like a beanie hat that all the all the cool kids wear now. It's I had one hat. at the time because I was a cool kid then. I guess. Yeah. See what what the trick was back then. I mean, I barely touched that. Bitch. Was uh, I was like. There was this, uh, everyone saying, you know, hey, uh, if you just, whatever, push on your prostate or whatever, you're in your taint, yeah, you can prevent yourself from ejaculating, right? Mm. There was this, no, th- th- trust me, this works, because this, this is how I accomplished jerking off in the car without everything getting messy. While it's going on, so you got one hand, you know, here. How are you driving your car? What are you steering with? I'm at the stoplight. Oh, okay. So you got one hand up your butthole. No, you're pushing this, the whatever the tube the, the in your yeah in yeah. your taint that's carrying the ejaculate uh-huh. and you're blocking it so you can the you tubes. can have you know your, what the tubes are called no i don't you have male anatomy you don't know what the fuck it's called no, that's dangerous it'll and, come and, out of your asshole and i don't care <laughs> you you push your taint as hard can as you can the other way? <laughs> you push your taint as hard as you can while you're while you're having your orgasm and nothing comes out and that's it that's, that's gotta hurt no it doesn't hurt when nothing comes out no because I've sense. squeezed the the base of your penis with one like you know forefinger and thumb, and that kind of stops it. But I've never d- gone so far as to as to hit my taint with a sledgehammer right under your balls, man. Just sledgehammer the taint. You just push it, and you're uh, you're so clean. then it you're goes back. All right, so it goes back towards the prostate, and then it explodes and then comes out your asshole like like BLT said. <laughs> that's fucking. That sounds horrible. It does sound horrible. <laughs> What's the point? I just remember hearing that. So it, so it, what happens then? Like so, the next time you jerk off, there's twice as much. Like, what happens? I don't know. You don't because know? I kept doing it. I did it over and over and over again. You did because I'm same like, process? oh, this is the, I, don't, I can jerk off without the mess. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. So you jerked off multiple times consecutively yeah. by pushing on your taint. Yeah. Was there like a time where you went to go jizz and it was just like a hard, hard? No. It was like a kidney stone, but it was just no. like hardened jizz. Like it was like a cannon. Nope. You didn't like shoot your cat's eye out or something. <laughs> that seems like it's the goal, though. What to to actually have jizz come out. Once or twice, I think like I've done it and like nothing came out for whatever reason. I'm like, no, that's I, because you jerked off thirty times that day. I'm like, and I by by number thirty, it's it's well by number twenty, it's dog water, and by number thirty, it's just like no, it's like dust. It wasn't like that, but nothing came out, and I'm like, I guess I gotta keep going. And I kept going. What? It didn't, guys. Make, I'm gonna keep going until something comes out. Yeah. Something, something's wrong. That's the goal. <laughs> something is wrong here, do, guys. Do you remember though? Uh, well, uh, when I was in grade school, I don't remember you in grade school now. Uh, and this was like third or fourth grade. Uh, this is like way before puberty. So I remember there was this pool party, Not and they me. had these giant inflatables, right? And and you're in the water and you're floating and you're trying to jump onto the like, like climb onto the inflatable. It's hard because you're you're not like coming from the surface. You're in the water and you're trying to climb on this. You mean and it's difficult? It's difficult. It's not hard. So I remember trying to climb on this inflatable and I'm trying to get my leg over and somehow the the way the muscles in my body were contracting to do it, all of a sudden I was aroused like immediately. And all of a sudden, I was like, ooh, this feels good. I don't understand why me throwing my leg over this inflatable feels good in the way that I was climbing on this inflatable. But I kept doing it over and over again, and I had an orgasm. As like, you how, know... How old were you? Well, this is like third grade, so maybe what, uh, 10? That's when I started jerking off, dude. That's pretty normal, right, but, I think, but, right? But, th- so, but <laughs> I just, don't I just remember getting off the inflatable, going back on, and, and just trying to like recreate whatever happened. Until eventually, I was like, "Oh, what? What is this?" <laughs> and you jizzed all in the pool. No, there was no jizz. It was just that it was just having an orgasm without jizz. I don't so, know about this. but it wasn't. I didn't. I didn't grab my penis in any way. I was just you just literally rub- climbing. Yeah, but on- you were literally rubbing it <laughs> all over. No, this I didn't. Tube. I didn't have to rub it. That's what that was. What's weird? It was no. just me climbing on the inflatable, dude. 
Was it a With Shamu? With you climbing on the inflatable, your dick probably kept rubbing all over this inflatable. <laughs> it's, I mean, <laughs> of course it was. <laughs> but I had to be sort of climbing on this thing to make it, <laughs> it was magic to me. He probably jizzed all over the inflatable Shamu and just like left it and then the, 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 <laughs> the well, lifeguard comes no, the by next, like, no, the what next the kid, fuck happened to that the next Shamu? Kid, the next kid jumps off it to, to land on it and goes <laughs> shooting all the way across the pool, covered in fucking cold gonna, cuts jizz. I'm not going to tell you how much jizz is in your pool. <laughs> oh, Never mind. My pool? Oh. For real? Is that is that why the last time you were at my house you kept slinging your leg over the American <laughs> Eagle? Yes. Man. I was trying to recreate when I was 10. <laughs> didn't that, Man. Didn't that uh, get torn up? Yeah, your your boner <laughs> tore up my inflatable, dude. I fucked that uh, thing in your pool that sucks up all the leaves. I fucked it. <laughs> the creepy crawler? Yeah, I fucked the creepy crawler. <laughs> it blew me while I was drinking a beer. No wonder. It's, it's, it's been all jammed up for months. No <laughs> wonder what happened. <laughs> That's terrible, man. Why would you do that to my pool? <laughs> Sorry. You're a piece of shit. No one's safe around cold cuts. Yeah, no one's safe around cold cuts. I sexually cuts. Uh, molested your pool cleaner. <laughs> well, we have the flamingo, which has a big hole in it, which I, I saw you trying to fuck, by the way. <laughs> and then we had the American Eagle. That was ginormous. And didn't you pop its head off with your boner? You like it was its wing. Yeah, uh, it, that it was, wasn't me. That it was, was almost like me. you unsheathed it and just like no. sliced. You decapitated <laughs> him with your boner. That was not me. <laughs> wow, <laughs> I was. That, I, th- I actually that was think impressive. I actually think that was BLT because I remember. Didn't you jump on top of it? I don't think it was somebody me. like ran and jumped on it and almost sliced its head off. It had to. I look. thought you did it with your boner. You decapitated <laughs> it. You were like ISIS bitch. <laughs> no, my boner when went you... away after I had sex with the creepy crawly. Oh, uh, I'm surprised you didn't rip now, it why off. Why is the crawly creepy anyway? Because you stuck your dick in it. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, wouldn't it? It's creepy now. It's creepy as fuck. <laughs> uh, are we taking another break or where are we at here? I find it your, your crawly so creepy. I was actually quite attracted to it. It's creepy, man. I mean, that thing takes a pounding. <laughs> or maybe maybe your peen took a pounding. Did you need another break? Yeah, what time is it? How, how far into this are we? We're into another 30 minutes. All right, so it's been like an hour. Yeah, it has this been is typi- an hour. Typically, where we call it quits because no one wants to listen past an hour, right? Well, we did an hour and a half last time. An hour and eighteen minutes, fucker. So what have we learned? We've learned don't go near your cold cuts boner because they'll <laughs> cut your head off. <laughs> they'll decapitate you like an ISIS soldier, right? <laughs> a terrorist. You're a terrorist with that with that fucking boner. And we learned that your name is either the rabbi or the reverend or I- Faj. Reverend. No, Faj. no, I'm the Moyle. You're, you're, oh, the, the, Moyle, Moyle, you're right. the Moyle Reverend Fage. The Moyle Reverend Fage. Oh my God, that's fantastic. The does MR, that, MRF. Does that make sense? Can you be a Moyle and a Reverend? No. It'd have to be the Moyle Rabbi Fage. The Moyle Rabbi Fage. But I'm okay if you call me Royal Moyle. Just call me Royal. Just like the Royal Tenenbaums? Or you can call me, you can call me Roy Moy. <laughs> <laughs> I like or just Royal. call me Moy. No, I like Royal, yeah. I think Royal's good. Royal Moyle. I'm the Royal Moyle. Who needs a circumcision? Sorry. Um, That's know. the only voice I can do. <laughs> I mean, unless you want to hear Jamaican or Irish. Or something. <laughs> That's the only Jewish voice I can do. It's not the best. I, I do apologize. No, it's great. All right, so we covered uh, jerking off. Mm-hmm. Boners. Um, whacking off the bus driver. Did we cover that? Whacking off to playgirls. Playgirls. I did not whack <laughs> off to playgirls. Circumcision. Yeah. Yarmulkes. Mm-hmm. Yarmulkes. They're also called kippas, I believe. It says it on the tag. <laughs> I didn't know that ahead of time. I just... All right, no. So we covered some covered some decent ground. Um, so, this has been Naughty Time. I'm your host, Royal Moyle. BLT and Cold Cuts. Thank you for joining us on episode two. We'll see you next time. Stay fucking naughty. Peace. Assholes. Assholes.